Now, the increasing shortage of nurses in Maine is not a new thing, but COVID-19 has certainly highlighted the need for fuller staffing at hospitals, and that's all across our state. Yeah, absolutely. One local community college is hoping some new money it's received will help address the problem. New Center Maine's Chloe Tebow joins us live this morning outside of Southern Maine Community College in South Portland with more. Hi, Chloe. Hey guys, good morning. Yes, yeah, Southern Maine Community College now has an additional half a million dollars to put toward expanding its nursing program thanks to a generous donation this month. Now, experts at the college say the shortage of nurses in Maine isn't necessarily because of a lack of interest, but rather an aging population as nurses retire and patients get older. Important work is underway at Southern Maine Community College moving forward rain or shine. Here at the campus's Health Science Center, students are on a mission. Walk in, introducing myself to the patient and giving privacy. To become nurses. S1 and S2 heart sounds are present. Nursing wasn't always the end destination of Luke White's career path. Well, I went to cosmetology school and I was a hairdresser for about four years. Um, and it was definitely a fulfilling career and I made a lot of money. The now 30 year old something. wanted something more though that he saw in his mom and his sister who are both nurses. I see the dedication that they put in every day um, to giving back to the community and being of service. White's feelings aren't entirely unique. SMCC's nursing program chair, Michael Nozdravicki, says the school definitely sees a demand. Each year we have no short of 1,500 applicants into our nursing program, and we're only able to uh, accept 60 to 70 students on, a, on each fall. So that's here. The problem, not having enough faculty members to meet it. It's hard to, to turn away students when you know that uh, you know, there's such a tremendous shortage out there. It's why a $500,000 donation from the Boyne family designed to fund a new nursing instructor position means a lot. Well, the patients are sicker. Um, they're in the hospital longer. They need some good nurses to get out and take care of them. Um, so this is the time. I'm going to go ahead and check the patient's name and date of birth. Addressing an aging population and a generation that's retiring one lesson at a time. It's a little bit intimidating, but it's also rewarding knowing that what we're doing is actually going to make a difference. Now, the Maine Community College System says it's in regular contact with two of our state's largest health care providers, Maine Health and Northern Light Health. As of the end of last week, they had a combined more than 1,200 registered nurse openings. Live in South Portland, Chloe Tebow, New Center, Maine.